In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced core strengthening exercises that are really going to challenge your strength and stability around your midsection. Hey guys, my name is Alina Kennedy. I'm a physiotherapist and strength and conditioning specialist with Sprint Rehab. So the exercises I'm going to show you today really focus on your core strength. So when we talk about core, we're talking about all of the muscles that make up your trunk or your midsection. So that's your abdominals, your obliques, your back muscles, and everything in between from the outer muscles all the way through to the deep, small muscles around your joints. And these muscles really work on controlling your spine and your pelvis and this becomes really important for runners because we want as much control and stability in our midsection or in our trunk as our arms and legs move while we're running so core strengthening is really important for runners and these exercises are advanced versions of some of the easier ones you would do as a beginner the technique and form is really important when we're doing it core exercises because it's very easy to do these exercises with poor control but the goal is to be as smooth and stable and in control of the movement as possible and you do need a base level of core strength to do that so if you are a beginner I would suggest starting with some easier exercises just to really get a feel of what getting that control and stability in your midsection feels like building up some of that base strength and then moving on to these ones. But if you have been doing core strengthening exercises for a while and you're ready for a new challenge, stick around and I will show you some of my favorite advanced exercises. All right guys, the first exercise we're going to do is a dead bug double leg extension. So you're going to be lying on your back. I want you to press your lower back into the ground as hard as you can by squeezing your abdominals and then you're going to extend both your arms and legs at the same time out as much as you can. The most important thing with this exercise is that your lower back stays pressed to the ground. You don't want your back arching up like this. Not only is this going to put a lot of stress on your lower back, but it also means that your abdominals aren't really doing their job. So. Press your lower back into the floor, engage your abdominals, so squeeze your tummy muscles and keep your lower back pressed firmly into the ground as your arms and legs move out. You can control the difficulty of this by controlling the angle that your legs go out. The closer they are to the ground, the harder it will be. So if you want to challenge, lower your legs down, but make sure your back is pressed onto the ground. Exercise two is going to be a banana boat hold. So lying on your back, just like with the last exercise, press your lower back into the ground and engage your abs. And then with this one, we're going to straighten our legs and extend them out, extend our arms out and lift our head and shoulders off the floor. Just like with the last exercise, you wanna make sure that you're not arching your back off the ground. Your lower back stays pressed down, your abs are engaged. And with this one, you're just holding still in this position for 30 seconds. Exercise three is going to be a straight leg kick. Just like with the last two exercises, you're lying on your back, lower back pressed into the ground and abs engaged. Straighten both legs out and then you're just going to gently flutter kick them up and down. Again, you can control the difficulty of this one by changing the angle of your legs. The higher up they are, the easier it will be. The lower down to the ground they are, the harder it will be. So find an angle that works for you, that challenges your core strength, but that you can control and it doesn't let your lower back lift up or arch off the ground. So slowly, gently fluttering those legs and keeping your core engaged. Exercise four is a plank with a hip lift. So start in a normal plank position and then you're going to lift one leg off the ground and extend your hip as much as you can. 
So with this one, you want to make sure that your back stays in a neutral position. So basically a straight line from your hips to your shoulders with no arch in your back. Avoid this position where you're hitching up. So you're not really going to be using your ab muscles doing this. So you really want to have a straight line. Also avoid this position where you've got too much of an arch in your lower back. That is going to press, put a lot of stress on your back. So straight line. But also avoid rotating around when you lift your legs up. Get into good neutral position, engage your core muscles, and then control that leg lift only as much as your hip will allow it without you rotating or moving your spine. The last exercise is a side plank with a hip lift. So strong side plank position, and then you're lifting your top leg away from your bottom leg in this extension movement. So the key with this exercise is that you want a really strong, stable trunk. So no rotation, everything is lined up. So you want to get your shoulders in line and you want your hips stacked one on top of the other. Make sure those oblique muscles are working and holding you up. And then as you lift your top leg away from your bottom leg, it's only a movement at your hip. So nothing else in your body is moving as you do this. So that's it for the advanced core strengthening exercises. Try them out at home. See how you go. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're looking for more running specific exercises, go check out the website sprintrehab.com. We have ready-made programs that are perfect for whether you are training for an event or recovering from an injury. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.